See the bubbles? Okay, we found it. Let's make our way into this thing. Now, I decided to bring the armor along just in case because, I don't know, I wasn't trusting this thing to protect me down here. Yo, what is up everyone? Hope all's going well for you. Welcome back to Get Jacked. Now, today we're going to be continuing along here on the official server that I've been, uh, you know, doing the series on. And we're going to be putting up turrets. So basically, it's, it's going to take a lot of pearls. Pearls is probably the hardest part. We're going to need electronics and whatnot. So we're going to have to head out. We're going to get a ton of those. Now, the Allosaurus that I had, the two of them in the last video... They're gone. They died. They upset a level 145 bear, and they got wrecked. So that was horrible, but we've got these guys. I, I tamed up two Carnos. I figured that would, I don't know, make up for it a little bit. But, I mean, I still want those Allosaurus, because the Carnos just, they're not quite as good as the Allosaurus, I don't think. But anyway, what I was going to do is I was actually going to head out to the caves, but I'm thinking that I'll probably do that at the end now. First, I really want to get a Diplocolis. We're going to go out, we're going to find one of those, because those are probably the easiest way to get underwater into the underwater caves to get a ton of pearls. So we're going to go find up one of those. I'm going to bring it back, we're going to tame that up. We'll go to the underwater caves, get a ton of pearls, and then... If we have time at the end, we'll make a run through that mid cave so we can see what it looks like. So we've got a ton of stuff, and why don't we get started with this? Oh, oh my god. Help me. Can I pursue <laughs> What's going on here? Um. Um. I can't. What is he laying in the water? Oh, I have an invisible. I bet you have an invisible Caprasuchus on me. Crap. Okay, if this happens to you, he's just there. He's right in front of you. Keep swinging the pike. There, there he's dead. <laughs> oh, jeez. Please don't die, buddy. Oh, my God, I hate these Caprasuchus. Okay, so basically, it grabbed me off the back of mine, and it went invisible. So that sucks. Yeah, I wasn't able to interact. Okay. Oh, this might be a problem. Oh, okay. Anyway, I've taken the camper suits out. We're searching for a Diplocolis here. I'll, I'll just be able to pick it up with this guy, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Hopefully, I can find one soon. I'm not looking for too high of a level one, because they are a pretty long tame. So, I'm looking for any level, and we sh should be finding one soon. Alright. I think that Sarko is just going to attack the bear. Oh, yep, he's done. You're done for. Bad idea, man. Okay, so, found one of them right here. Check it out. Oh my gosh, these things are so cool. Alright. They're pretty difficult to find, actually, because everything murders these poor little things. You always just see them running away from stuff. This one must have just spawned in. Oh, look at that. Look at his head. <laughs> Get it, man. There we go. Alright. He's enjoying it. Let's take this thing back, and we're going to tame it up. It's, it's, it's actually probably going to take a little bit of time, so I might be able to get a decent amount of metal for these turrets as well. All right, so got this thing knocked out. It took like four darts, so it wasn't that bad. Now he's level 45, so it's probably it's probably gonna take over an hour and a half, two hours if I get him with all prime. I've got some in the refrigerator, so we should be stocked up. But I'm actually gonna have to clear out the area. There are a ton of parasers around here, so we should be able to get a decent amount of prime out here. So let's go. Let's see how much this. I'll show you how much damage this thing does. I've actually got this thing pretty strong. He's pretty close to level 200. I mean, we tamed it at what? It was like level. It was one, 120 something, I think. So this thing's gotten. I've taken it through the cave like so many times trying to find the Megaloceros. But I guess they glitch under the cave floor. So we need to. I need to search for them like that. But I'm not ready to have any of those. Because I just feel like if I get one, I spend all the time taming it, bringing it out of the cave, it'll probably die out here. So I'm just gonna wait till I get a little bigger. So let's see here. Look at that, he's already getting bloody. You running away? Yeah, you better run. Oh jeez, wrong button. Just hit E. <laughs> oh gee. Okay, there's a bunch of stuff out here. Don't you take my prime. Don't eat this. Dang it. These two idiots just ate the prime off that Pariser. We only got one out of that. Dang it. 
And now that I think about it, the saber actually is really bad at getting prime. Because it, it harvests like a hatchet, so that's not good. Let's see if we can kill this stuff. What level are these? Holy crap. That was only 30. That was only 40. Okay. That took a lot. So I should use this. Not him. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Okay, that's not working too well. Too well. We'll just eat him. <laughs> We're just gonna go grab the bear. That's a lot better getting prime. <laughs> See how much more we'll get from this. The bear. I just find it gets so much more. Yeah, five prime from that. Oh yeah, perfect. Want some snake? Die. There we go. A little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna keep getting more. All right, so we've got our metal. We've got pretty much, yeah, I've got everything that I need here for the turret. So basically, I'm just gonna get some organic polymer for the polymer, but we need 70 electronics. So each electronic takes three pearls. So we'll need, what is that? 210 at least for one turret. So we'll need at least 210 pearls, which getting them one by one off the ocean floor sucks. So we're gonna go into the underwater caves, which give three per spawn so that should be nice so basically just have to wait for this thing to tame up he's almost done okay i think he's almost set this is this has been a really long tame too just, okay there we go finally so he's got like no health only 400 something health and these don't require a saddle well you can't actually ride them on land but you can ride them underwater and they don't take a saddle so it, not having that armor and having that low of health, this guy is really, really weak. So, we're gonna have to be real careful. Look at you. They're so goofy looking. Yeah, those stats though. Okay, so the one that we really have to worry about is oxygen. So that's how much he's basically gonna be able to keep giving us underwater. Now, when you're riding him underwater, they just basically give it to you just like a scuba set. You don't have to actually have to activate it. So I'm naked. I'm not taking any gear with me just in case. And uh, let's head out. Yeah, he doesn't have a saddle for sure. Thought maybe there would be one, but okay. Let's head out and see if we can find the underwater, uh, the mid underwater cave. All right, so here we go. I usually hate the fog, but when you're out here over the water, it looks pretty amazing, actually, over on the shore. Oh, it's really cool. Okay, so anyway, we're in the bay in the very south. It's like in the middle south. I guess it's kind of offset to the left a little bit, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. So we're gonna head out. We're, we want to go right into the center of this, and then I'm trying to line myself up with where that river comes out. So see where that river comes out. It's kind of difficult to see. It's like off to the right, but that's where I want to line up because that's basically the center of this and that's where the cave is going to be. So I'm going to line this up. Hopefully we will be able to find this pretty quickly because we can't risk this guy getting hit by anything. All right, here we go. The underwater cave. Check this thing out. I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is like a little hole there. It's pretty cool. This uh, shark's been trying to follow me around, but he's not quick enough. Now, these things, like, insta-kill trilobites and gather them at the same time, which is another awesome thing. So, you can get a ton of chitin and whatnot from these as well. So, where's this cave at? It's right over in this area. Um, oh, right here. There we go. Is that it? Nope. <laughs> Whoops. All right, it's over here. There's this like pillar. It's always, it's always difficult for me to find this one if I don't have the GPS on me, just because everything kind of looks the same around here. Oh, it's back where? Oh, it's right over here. Here we go. See the bubbles? Okay, we found it. Let's make our way into this thing. Now, I decided to bring the armor along just in case because, I don't know, I wasn't trusting this thing to protect me down here. So, we've got armor. It's not really bothering me. I thought it was going to be really cold is a problem, but it doesn't seem to be a problem. So, here we go. The underwater cave. Come on, let's get you out of the water. And that only took, I was down there for quite a while, and I only took 200 oxygen out of him. So, you don't even need one really this high of level. Like, <laughs> I don't know how long you plan on being underwater with him, but he can last a while. So over here, we can grab all these. Look at that. 
This is awesome. Okay. Oh, there's an explorer note in here. Which one is this? Oh, this one's a Helena note. The wolf. That's cool. I still love finding these things everywhere. We got an XP boost. Too bad we're not going to be able to utilize that at all since gathering pearls doesn't really give experience, but that's cool. Alright. Oh, okay, so Helena notes are just like the normal ones. Never mind. I thought that was one of the, the Mei Yin ones. I haven't found any of the Mei Yin ones. So I'm interested to see where those are at. So let's grab these. Oh, actually, are those Scorched Earth? Maybe those are... I don't know. If you guys know where the Mei Yin ones are, let me know because I've been looking. So anyway, we've got a ton of them over here. I think we should be able to get... Well, I guess we'll, we'll see in the end how much we get total from this cave here. I don't even bother with the oil nodes because they give almost nothing inside the caves. Like, the ones underwater give a lot, but these ones only give, like, two or three oil. They're pretty useless. Someone's got a little building in here. wonder what this is for. Maybe just fast travel? Huh. That's cool, though. All right, anyway, let's make our way out of here. We've got our pearls. I'll probably have to make one more trip out here if we want to get more than one turret, but it shouldn't be too hard. This is pretty easy, so let's get out of here. Come on, dude. Hopefully that shark isn't out here. <laughs> I haven't seen any, like, pleasies or mosasaurs, so I think the spawning has definitely been turned down for those. So that's awesome. Let's get on this. I wish you could just ride him off of E, but what are you going to do? All right, so we got a little over 100, so not too bad. I'm going to have to scour the, the bottom of the ocean for some more here. All right, so we should be all set. Sorry, it's a little bit dark. It's just becoming morning. You know, I was just, I was just so excited to get this going. Gotta get this turret up. So it, that's, that's basically when you can start relaxing a little bit is when you got some turrets up. So I'm excited to get this, and we should be able to metal out this whole room here pretty soon. So I've got a little bit of ammunition, about 116 rounds. I was able to craft up some of that with like the extra metal from the turret. So I built that. I put the, the wiring through here. This room is going to end up as just like a little bit of a storage room, so I'm not worried if it looks ugly. That'll be like our cable storage room as we go. So over here, we've got our box, and then we'll jump up here. Hopefully, it'll reach up to this part. So now all these plant species X, I mean, they could just be shot by, by that's the biggest thing, is they can be shot by rocket launchers and stuff, and you want to have this up so that this will shoot those rockets out of the air and kind of protect your other turrets so it's, it's really nice to have this there we go that's what I'm talking about now these ones can be picked up and placed in other areas so you can always move these around if you don't like their their placement just keep that in mind alright so we'll change this to high we don't want a warning okay only players. We don't want them to shoot tames because <laughs> otherwise they'll just drain my bullets out with like a turtle or something. For now. I mean, once we got a, a lot of turrets, we'll be able to set up two different things, but I think that's what we're going to want for now. So I think we should be all set. I'm taming up a bear down there because my bear was killed, actually. <laughs> Unfortunately, again. So that, I, th I think I've gone through maybe seven bears. It's got to have, it's got to be close to that like seven bears on this server it's been horrible but anyway now that we've got that going we've got our turret up I do need to get a few more pearls I was just a little bit short so sadly I couldn't get a second turret I want to get one on the front and then we, we just basically need a lot more but now that we've got the Diplocolis, we I should be able to get a ton of pearls over time so anyway let's replace this oh no why why Ark? Such a waste of metal. Alright, let's put these on. Oh, that's not gonna go there, is it? The ceiling. The ceiling is, like, kind of off. So, those aren't gonna place well. Alright, I'm just gonna continue metaling this out. It's so close. We, we just need a ceiling and a few more walls and we should be set. But anyway, why don't we head out to the middle cave. I've been through it a few times, but I want to show you the artifact chamber because I think it's really cool and something that you should probably go check out yourself, too. Alright, so I'm going to make my way through here. actually brought a Megalosaurus saddle, just in case I saw one. 
I haven't seen one yet, unfortunately. So check this out. This is the loot chamber. Just made it to the very middle. Now, they made this cave pretty straightforward. Pretty much every route leads. I feel like it was more confusing before, but the artifact chamber was really simple to find. It's not the way. It's freaking worse. But my saber's pretty strong now, so I don't really have any difficulties in the caves, really. Come here, you. Just gotta go back, pedal. You want some scorpion? It's not that he's, he's got a lot of health, it's just that I can't hit him. He's got to, like, hit his wing every once in a while. There we go. It's level 10. Alright, anyway, we've made it. Check this out. God, this is so cool. Alright, what explorer note we got in here? Well, that's fitting. So we've got the Aranio Dossier, which is cool. This thing's taking a while to fill out. There's a ton of these. So let's jump over here. Oh! Oh, that's water. <laughs> okay. Alright. I kind of got scared there for a second. I thought that was ground. Can't really tell. Perfect. We made it. Artifact container. This is so awesome. Look at this. But anyway, now that I'm in the center of the cave, that's where we're going to be stopping for today. If you like this video and want to see more from the series, definitely hit that thumbs up and or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Y'all have a great rest of your day, and we'll catch you next time.